What up? My name is Brad. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the units that hopefully we get for the anniversary. Plus, we'll discuss previous anniversaries and everything in between. If you enjoy, make sure you leave a like on the channel. Subscribe. Thank you so much. It's always appreciated. Follow me on Twitter at BradicalYT if you'd like. And also, I'll be streaming in the mornings. So, if you want to come through whenever we stream, you're more than welcome to. Normally, Sunday through Wednesday. we my streaming days, but I like to stream Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Either way. So I was hopping in and I was just looking at previous anniversary units and not necessarily speculating because not to say it's obvious what we're getting, but there's definitely something from the Boo Saga and more than likely something from Battle of Gods, which Battle of Gods, my Battle of Gosh, deserves a new character roster because what we're rocking right now, <laughs> this is it, baby. This Goku from <laughs> probably close to six years ago. And this dude from almost like three years ago. That's what we're rocking from Battle of Gods. Now, we did get a new God Goku for DBS Broly a while back. And he's actually one of the cooler ones because he's got like the whole, you know, paralysis thing. He puts his hands out and he's like, Broly, freeze! You know, it's like the police. It's cool. But Battle of Gods needs a revamp because this is, this is what brought Dragon Ball back. Now, if you're a younger viewer, right? Maybe you're somebody who's under the age of 20 right it may be a little bit tough at this point to remember or maybe you weren't even plugged in because i remember when i was like 9 10 i just like dragon ball and toonami and i wasn't plugged in the internet wasn't quite what it is nowadays of course but so about 2004 to 2011 is when i really fell in love with dragon ball i uh, moved back to the city i was born in and all the dvds were starting to come out dragon ball was airing and it was oh it's a prime time to be alive as a Dragon Ball fan. And then I went out to college, kind of followed Dragon Ball a little bit. 2014 rolls around, and Battle of Gods of 2013, whenever it came out, rolls around. Oh my gosh, dude. If Battle of Gods hadn't done as well as it did, I don't think you would have Dokkan. I don't think you would have Legends, Fighters, Kakarot, whatever game you're vibing with Xenoverse. You wouldn't have all these games if Battle of Gods hadn't done so goddamn well, because it's still such a dope movie. But either way, this Goku set the precedent. Well, the fact that he's sitting here with this and this and then one other unit, it's like, bro, God Goku is sick. Even the term of power God Goku is sick. So he definitely deserves it. And then Beerus. If you guys don't know, I have a I have two boy cats named Beerus and Shampa. It's not even a joke. You can follow me on Twitter, Radical YT. I put pictures all the time of them. Beerus and Shampa. That's literally their name. That's how much I like Beerus. He is so criminally underrated in this damn game. So we have to get a new God Goku and a new Beerus. We don't need new Shampa yet. We do need one, but I'm okay without that right now. Let's focus on this first. So part one, I really need Battle of God. I really need it to be Battle of Gods. I don't like dual LF banners. I never will. I never have. It's just not enjoyable. But realistically, for a moment like this, probably the best option. I mean, honestly, it's probably the best option is to give us a dual banner like how we got last year with Super Hero. It's probably the best option, right? As much as it's kind of a stinker ruski. What are you gonna do? So, well, last year's superhero after uh, Janemba came out around like October, November. Not like the anniversary last year. But either way, so first anniversary was Vegito, hypest thing ever. To this day, I remember, well, my girlfriend asked me to go to Walmart. And I remember being standing in Walmart when Vegito got announced. <laughs> but I remember being so hyped that I drove home at like 90 miles an hour <laughs> to make a video on it. Still one of the hypest. Vegito Blue came out. This is when the game started getting really toxic. We already had Purple Broly at this point, but it started getting really toxic, and it started getting to the point where it's like, this dude draws a strike when he strikes? Okay, got you. No problem. We're good. Third anniversary came out. Still one of my favorite absolute prime units, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, but it's because I'm biased. I almost said based, which I guess some people call me based, but I'm biased in the fact that I like Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta so much anyways. It's because I was a kid. I watched GT first. I know it's a sin. It is what it is. We're here. Damasu, that was a good anniversary, but then Purple Gohan came out and just said, yeah, both of you guys suck. I'm actually the best, <laughs> and I revive. So it was a cool anniversary, not super de duper de needed, right? Then we started getting to where, like, this is when we all started really realizing that they were putting up units to just get bodied by the next unit. Like, Vegito came out, and then Red Cooler came out and said, Vegito doesn't exist. You don't like Vegito. And then Cooler got bodied. And then we, we go to next year. 
uh, Go Freezer came out. I don't remember the exact line of it, but but you know, Blue came out and dude, we're like, this guy is what is this unit, bro? And then Toshi was like, actually, Janimba's here. That's about the time the last couple years, last two, two and a half years, we've really come to realize that's the strategy they're just going to rock with. So I would expect something similar this year. Part one, probably going to be Battle of Gods. At least hopefully. Do the superhero treatment where it's got the two banners. There's a lot of other, you know, dual banners. The Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and uh, Yu Zamasu. Those ones are also prime examples of, like, these guys right here. Prime examples of a banner that we could see for Battle of Gods. And I'd be okay with it. Secondary part, it's going to be something Vegito. They tweeted out image of the Buu Saga. It's going to be something Vegito. We just have to acknowledge that. I'm okay with it being a Super Saiyan Vegito. I really, I would not mind something funny, but it's the anniversary. But at the same time, we're not going to see something funny right now. But if we had to see something funny, I would love to see Vegito. That when he dies, he revives his candy. I can't even tell you how much I would love to see that. Or he starts his candy and then he dies and revives his Vegito. Or it's Goku and Vegeta, and then when they die, they revive as Vegito, which totally could be done well. And then their their LF, or I guess Ultra, I don't know, either way. I, just, I wish Ultras did LS. I really I really wish Ultras had that animation that ended it, whatever. Uh, it's LF would be <laughs> turning into chocolate and then still killing the enemy. I think that'd be amazing. I don't think we're going to see something like that, but I'd like that. So part one, Battle of Gods, part two, Boo Saga. Part three, I couldn't even tell you. We could touch Battle of Gods again, but probably there's not enough substance in Battle of Gods to get multiple things out. Surprise, something from Boo Saga. But then I don't know what in Boo Saga would deserve an Ultra. I, I'm i pretty confident we're going to get something Vegito, and then we're going to get the Janemba treatment a month after that, and it's going to be something Boo related. The Super Boo needs. Super Boo needs to come back. Kid Boo, even. Either one. But definitely Super Boo. Super Boo has not had a usable unit like ever. Green Super Boo in the first anniversary, he was okay. He was fine. He was actually really good, but that was about five years ago. So that's my hopefulness. I'm not super duper over the moon. This is exactly what's gonna happen because it may not. I mean, really, good. I'm very confident it's either gonna be no matter what we're seeing of Vegito or Battle of God. I'd like to see both because it's probably gonna be a two or three parter, more like a three parter. Yeah, Battle of Gods, Boo Saga, and then maybe end of Boo Saga or something else battle of gods i just don't know what else you could do guess they could do god goku with a couple units around and then it goes to usaga and then it goes back to Beerus. they could do that i don't think they would or it could just be battle of gods battle of gods see that's where it gets confusing i don't know what else we do definitely we're seeing for sure battle of gods or vegeta those two that's a it has to it has to be something related to those either way I'm going to get out of here. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, the game plan right now for the channel. Uh, I haven't really... Honestly, I've kind of been lazy. I know. Me? Who would have thought? I got to get out of there. I got to stop being lazy. But I also just cannot have my life be consumed by legends. I just can't do it. It's the anniversary. I'll make some videos here and there. You guys will definitely see when new units come out. I'll try my best to summon for them, but I'm not going to spend $500 to get a unit. It's just not going to happen. If I get them, sick. You guys see the showcase. Um, but I'll, I like making videos like this, too. So if you just... If you, like discussion videos like this then leave a like subscribe to the channel thank you so much and uh keep an eye out for streams i still want to stream stuff like i want to i want to stream like tears of the kingdom and stuff games i've just never played on stream i'd like to just have those vods there and just to do it i want to i like being a streamer streaming is so hard but if you want to come through to the streams i'll probably be streaming like sunday monday tuesday wednesday early in the morning i'd like that that'd be a good time slot who knows? Anyway, I'm out. Thank you so much. Catch you in the next one. Peace.